Good morning everybody and welcome to Painting with Canada. It's the first show so I don't have anything prepared so we'll get the camera guy he can throw one of those uh, logos in there later and we'll just go ahead and jump in there and get at it. It's minus 30 here again today in Northern Ontario and there's four feet of snow out there so I've done what any good Canadian would do and I've gone around the house and I peeked through all the windows and I picked the scene uh, that looked like it'd be easy to do for beginners because this is the first show I figured we'd start with the easy stuff and you guys could just practice what I do and uh, that's what we're gonna do we'll paint one of those yeah okay oh easy there camera guy back up You're getting too close first day on the job yeah I know I know I know okay second rule is uh, when we're painting no pants it's uh, my house my rules and uh, that's just the way it's gonna be so we're not wearing any pants but that's okay cuz I told the camera guy no going down there and he agreed so we're good and in case some of you are wondering uh, why I'm wearing my camo because it's not deer season and everything I it's the first rule of painting you don't want to wear something that you're gonna get paint on and ruin so camo is perfect like I got some I don't know purple over here and I, I think that's mustard I'm not sure and uh, maybe that's uh, some deer blood or squirrel blood or something down there I don't know but uh, yeah because you know here in Canada we don't just like to paint wildlife we like to eat it too but that's a separate show so yeah so there's the tree there that we're gonna paint um, it, it should be uh, you know we should try to take a measurement of that somehow not, not really sure how they used to we can figure that out you know here in Canada we use things like uh, meters centimeters and kilometers we uh, we don't do uh, furlongs and and all that stuff that stuff was uh, you know 1800s we got rid of that so we're on to modern technology now so yep we moved up with a little higher vantage point here see if we can get a better view and I'm still having a hard time Figuring out. Hmm. Ooh. She's cold out. I think you got her done. I had to climb her twice, but I, I got the measurement that we need, I think. I got stuck the second time, and thank God for good neighbors, eh? Tom from the trailer park heard me yelling, he brought the ladder over and he got me down, but, uh, yeah, so he asked me why I wasn't wearing any pants, just these long guns here, and uh, told him I was painting, and he said he could drink to that. So next thing you know, he invited me over for a couple drinks. So we gotta get in here and get this picture here done quick, and uh, get over for a sociable. I know I'm Canadian and all, and I, I almost forgot about the hat. You guys are probably uh, not even thinking twice about it, but it's it's got some nice color there, right? And uh, that's why I'm wearing it. It's all about the creativity when you're gonna paint. You gotta get yourself ready to go. And for me, a nice colorful palette will do that. So whatever uh, churns your butter, you guys figure it out and get yourself all pumped up to do that painting. Now we're done all the hard work, eh? We've taken measurements, we've got our uh, paint set up, we've got our paper and water, and you gotta have a good brush. I don't know, probably this one's better for what we're gonna do. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, put some paint on here. The closest I could figure was that tree's probably about 1 30th of a kilometer or something like that. So that's a good, pretty good enough measurement for me. You can see eh, where we're going with that. And the best thing about painting here in Canada in the winter is your paper is already the right color to start with. So it's not going to take a whole lot of uh, preparation to get it right. So we start here, something like this. And then we gotta add, make sure you add lots of water in there when you're doing, you know, when you need to add a second uh, thing. There's two trees out there. Yeah, I didn't measure the second one, but because we know the size of the first one, eh, we can kind of guess it was a little bit smaller. Something like that. And there we go. Well, there she is, eh, the finished product. I'm gonna call that one Winter in the Backyard. I'm gonna get that up on the eBay there this afternoon, so. They told me back in art school, you're either the dumbest country blind hick we ever saw, or a genius. I think they were right. Anyway, I see Tom's coming down the driveway on the riding lawnmower there. He must have got her started. 
Borrowed the wife's hair dryer and unthawed that starter, so coming to pick me up, go for a drink with the boys. So I hope you guys learned a lot about painting, a little bit about Canada along the way, and we'll see you next week on Painting with Canada.